So when Moderna was moving forward and coming up with the idea of coming up with this vaccine that's helped in the pandemic, um, what did the CEO say to you? Did he say, I think I've got the way to really cure the pandemic? Or what did you say to him? Well, when the, the beginnings of this pandemic were beginning to show themselves, this was back January of 2020, uh, we had a discussion about the possibility of starting a program just to be in a position in case this got serious. And, and interestingly, the, go the reason was not because it was a pandemic. It was not a pandemic at the time. There was, nobody was using that word. But because we thought we'd have an opportunity to also demonstrate one of the hidden advantages of our platform, which was just speed, speed of execution, speed of design. See, in the traditional biotech pharmaceutical world, speed is hardly ever an advantage because things take such a long time in being approved and regulated that going even faster often doesn't really result in much of a gain. Whereas in a pandemic or epidemic we thought we would have, speed becomes the, a, a life or death difference. And so that's what attracted us at first. And then, of course, the situation caused us to put a lot of our efforts into this. Right. But Moderna was a relatively small company. Very few people heard of it. You go to the government of the United States and say, guess what? Forget Merck, forget Pfizer, forget all these other companies. Give us some money. Did they laugh at you at the time? They said, well, who ever heard of you? Or was it clear that they were so interested in anything that they gave you money that you needed? Um, it's more the second, but even more, we were well known in all the circles in the government. From the beginning of this effort, we partnered with NIH. The NIH was testing our vaccine in humans 40 days after we actually started our process. So it wasn't that they laughed at us from a point, of course they were worried that how can a company that we don't know withstand this type of uh, uh, capital slash importance, if you will, how can it scale up quickly? So a lot of unknowns. Good news for us, starting with Stefan and the team he had assembled, they were all stars from all the major pharma companies. So when it was hard to get, um, did people call you up all the time in the middle of the night and say, guess what, can you get me some of the Moderna or did you uh, unlist your phone number or something? I did get calls that I never thought I would ever get before from many, many country leaders. What did you say? How they got me. I, the reality is I couldn't do anything. I was completely, I mean, nobody could do anything. Legally, the entire vaccine supply was a possession of the U.S. government, the, the ones we were making in the U.S. It had not been authorized for any other use than emergency use. So any supply kind of un, under the table, if you will, would be an illegal act. I, in fact, told many people that I would more readily get an assault rifle here than I could a vaccine because it was completely illegal to do anything with it. So I, I just, I, it, it was very difficult for me to understand because they viewed it as oh, it's an innovation, surely you must have some lying around. And people don't realize just how carefully governed this whole thing was. And in a way it made it a bit easier for us to be honest with you because had we been able to do this, the demand was in the hundreds of thousands of demands, not one or two.